Dave here, how are you? I'm going to change the tire on this bandsaw wheel. Now ordinarily that's a difficult situation. Every time someone buys a bandsaw tire they go, my goodness it's not going to fit. It's just not going to stretch. Well I'm going to show you the dead easy way to do it. Stick this with is a 14 inch bandsaw wheel. It has an axle of just over 5 eighths of an inch diameter on the machine. So that's the hole through the center is there just over 5 eighths. Don't presume that just a piece of dowel is going to do this because we're going to use a piece of dowel in this board to pop the wheel on because you know do that like David did and then won't fit. So I've drilled another hole and this is going to be pushed in. It's not a situation where I have to glue it in, doesn't matter. We're going to drop the wheel on there like that and you can already see how it's going to happen. I'm going to put another axle, being a piece of dowel, up this end and I'm going to put a piece of 20 millimeter conduit over the top to act as a bearing. It's going to turn, it's going to be a small wheel. This is going to get rid of all the friction for us. I need to put another 5 8 of an inch hole right here and that's going to work beautifully. Hear that? That's lovely. Now this is not my method. I've seen someone else do this but I thought I would share this with you because it's the best method I've seen. So I'm going to put a little mark there and I'll take this over to the drill press. Yep, done. There we go. I'm going to put that in there, like that. What do you think? Then this is going to go on there like that and I'm going to get one of the tyres. Now I've already put this tyre out on the driveway in the sun to warm it up and make it loose but also give it a bit of a stretch. Just around we go, not too much. There we go. Now put it over there. I'm going to get a small clamp. Well that's the smallest one I've got. And I'm going to clamp the tire in position. Like so. I'm going to hold the whole thing down with a clamp on my bench. Done. By the way, I made these dowels with this Veritas doweling jig. It is brilliant. Now I'm slowly going to rotate. Now I'm going to make sure that I have the tire pushed down at the same time into the groove. Don't get your thumb pinched in between here and there, that would hurt. Pretty easy isn't it? Around this side. Release that. Okay, now I'm going to take it around a little bit more because I want to get rid of any um, discrepancy on the tyre. Actually, I just want to get rid of any unevenness on the pressure. Push it down as we're going around. The trick is to take it off there now. And you can see I've got that's sitting there. Now I'm going to turn this ever so slightly. How good is that? And we just go around it, make sure that the tire is sitting where it should. Just ease it on. Once you've taken the wheel off and you've got the tire on, you might find it's just lipping over the edge a little bit. Get a wooden mallet and just slowly go around and give it a little tap and you'll find that it drops down quite easily. This is in, just in case you can't push the tyre back into the groove. Give it a little tap as you're going around. Don't hit it too hard and don't use a steel hammer. 
and you'll find it'll be good. That's taken this from a job that you were going to fight with this tire like crazy to a job that has put that tire onto that wheel in an even manner. I know a lot of people are trying to push it on with screwdrivers. They end up scratching the wheel. They end up tearing the tire or having it snap. Yeah, this is the easiest way that I've found. Thanks for watching. Keep on coming back and I shall see you next time. Bye. What a lovely little chick. <laughs> Dave here, how are you? How often have you got a bandsaw wheel that you need to put in? Let's get a tire. Let's get a, here we go. <laughs> Dave here, how are you? <coughs> I'm not great, but anyway, let's get started.